So I'm here with Alroy Almeida from Volterra. Alroy, would you mind telling me a little bit more about what Volterra has been up to in the past five months or so? Sure. Um, so everybody knows Volterra as the go-to prototyping tool for standard uh, rigid electronics, uh, FR4-based uh, rigid systems. But one of the major uh, shifts in focus that we've been undertaking over the last uh, few months uh, and well into the rest of this year is really doubling down on the, the PE side of things. So uh, we really want to be that bridge between people from the traditional electronic space and the printed electronic space. And so we're here at IDTech X, uh, trying to partner with a lot of the ink manufacturers uh, and start highlighting their materials. A lot of these substrate manufacturers highlighting uh, the materials that they're developing. And so you know, we've got some examples of, of uh, flexible electronics and, and different coded materials uh, that we're working with right now just in order to um, show off what all these developers, yeah, I can hold that, just to show off what all these developers are uh, working on in the lab and actually helping them get it out, get it, get it commercialized, and get in front of the people who are inevitably going to be using it uh, in their products. And we think it's important to, to be that bridge because it allows the developers it allows the developers uh, of these inks and these substrates to get in front of users earlier in their development cycle rather than when they're already at the mass manufacturing stage and the decisions of what they're making are already made for them. Yes, absolutely. So what are the substrates that these boards have been printed on? Yeah, so we've, we've got some polyimide uh, films, PET, coated PET. Um, you can see over here, yeah. uh, we've got um, you know, electronics that we've made on um, on acrylics and other materials that can be thermoformed. Uh, we've used um, flexible substrates that we are then able to uh, essentially turn into conformal electronics by uh, adhering them to other uh, curved substrates like this uh, and this kind of airfoil style design as well, um, as well as the combination of of the rigid and the flexible. Um, you know. This is a, a ZIF connector for uh, a sensor that's on this flexible material that would then light up some LEDs. Just simple examples of how you can start uh, experimenting with printed electronics and really trying to bring down those barriers to getting uh, to getting your feet wet in the conductive ink space and things like that. Sounds like a lot's been going on. So what yeah. should we continue to expect from Volterra? So, like I said, the rest of this year is going to be primarily focused on highlighting what other people in the space are doing, highlighting the different uh, inks and substrates that uh, developers are, a lot of the manufacturers here are creating, um, showing use cases and case studies with those uh, with those organizations, as well as focusing a lot more on what our customers have been doing, which uh, is honestly something that we haven't been uh, doing enough of. Uh, we've got uh, over a thousand machines in the field and we, we want to show off what uh, our amazing users are developing, whether it be the traditional electronics or the boundaries that they're pushing in PE as well. Sounds good. Um, and then um, on the software side, we're constantly making improvements over here. Just so I can hear. Um, so our, our software, uh, not much has changed on the, on the front end of it. Uh, definitely with the addition of the the drill attachment that we announced last year at ID Tech X, uh, it was actually released earlier this year. That's the one major software upgrade that you'll see um, when you open up your uh, your V1 software. If you haven't done it in a while, it'll automatically update and say, "Hey, you now have more capabilities." Um, and that's sort of how we approach um, the user experience for our product. We don't we don't want it to be. Um, very difficult to use. It, it feels more like an app on your phone, uh, the way it automatically updates and all of a sudden, oh, you've got new features and new functionality um, and videos that guide you through every single step of the, of the process. You know, we're, we're really trying to get out of the way and help people uh, learn how to use a product with, with, with almost no learning curve. Right. Sounds like a lot's going on. Yeah. Certainly got a lot to look out for over the next six months. Oh, for, uh, Definitely, yeah. we're we're going to be really busy uh, on the PE side of things, like I had mentioned. Brilliant. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Alroy. Thank you, Brian. Turn it around.